Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to solve a percent problem, and we're going to solve it using the percent equation, which is the percent times the whole equals the part. We can use this equation to help us with percent problems, whether we're looking for the percent, the whole, or the part. We plug in what we are given and solve for what we are looking for. Let's jump into our example where we have Jackson starts saving 5% of his paychecks for a vacation. Each paycheck is $1,250. How much is he saving each paycheck? Let's come to the side here and work through this. So for our equation, we have P for the percent times W for the whole equals A for the part. Now we need to identify the different parts of the equation and plug in. Let's start with the percent. Well, Jackson starts saving 5% of his paychecks for a vacation. So our percent is 5%. And when we plug in the percent to the equation, we're going to use the decimal form. That makes the percent easier to work with within the equation. And remember, all we need to do to convert a percent to a decimal is divide by 100. And we can quickly divide by 100 by moving the decimal twice to the left. The decimal comes after a whole number. So for 5%, the decimal goes right here. And we move it once, twice to the left. And we need to fill this gap, this place, with a zero. So we get 0 0.05, five hundredths. So let's plug that in. Times the whole equals the part. So now we need to identify the whole and the part. Well, each paycheck is $1,250. So is that the whole or the part? Well, we're looking for how much he's saving each paycheck. So this is going to be the whole paycheck, and we're looking for the part of the paycheck he is saving. So we're given what his whole, his total paycheck is, and then we're figuring out the part of the paycheck he is saving. So the whole is 1,250, and then the part is unknown. That's what we're figuring out. So we keep our variable of A. So with this equation, we're finding 5% of 1,250 equals what? Now we solve, and we just have a one-step equation here. We need to isolate the variable of A, which it's already isolated on the right side of the equation. So all we need to do is multiply here. We have 5 hundredths times 1,250. That gives us 62 and 5 tenths, 62.5. And that's the part. Now let's go back to the original question here. How much is he saving each paycheck? Now this is not $62.05. Remember, when we write out money that involves cents, we write it to the hundredths place. So this is $62.05. Fifty cents. So sixty two dollars and fifty cents. So that's how much he saves each paycheck. So there you have it. There's an example of solving a percent problem. Check the description for more examples. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.